Some time ago, I heard that the word Adirondack is a Mohawk word used to mean tree eaters and applied to bands of Algonquin Indians in the area. More recently, I heard a tune, which you can hear playing in the background right now, called Bark Bridge Lawton. An old, old Swedish fiddle tune means bark bread song, referring to the famine winter times when what they had to eat was bark bread. So apparently they ate trees too. So today I'm here to show you a couple of your options for famine food from the pine tree. Come on with me. Here's our first stop. Now we're going to start with the Barksbrod part. I'm going to peel off just a small strip. Not enough to injure the tree. Because I want you to see that there is an outer bark and an inner bark. You can peel the inner bark right off. Okay, you can see this bark peeling. Just peel it, strip comes right off. Now you can eat this inner bark just as it is. Very stringy. It's like chewing cattail roots for starches. You chew it up to release the starches and spit out the fibers, unless you're on an extremely high fiber diet. I want you to notice <clears throat> another edible part. If you can see right on the end, there's a little bud, it's called the terminal bud. That is edible. And if you notice, right near the final few inches of this branch have a uh, orange tinge to them. That whole tip and bud are edible. Don't eat too many because the deer rely on this too. Okay, so here we have the terminal bark. I'm saving the leaves because they make an extremely good tea, which is very high in vitamin C. A cup of this probably has more than two, three oranges or lemons. Uh, so it's very good for, also has vitamin A, but the twig starchy and stringy.